G'day kids, on the coffee run today we've got Luke Carroll, coach and volunteer coordinator. G'day Luke. Hi Rowan, how are you? Oh mate, I'm super. You can relax mate. I'm That's relaxed, right. I'm relaxed. Relax. You're a bit nervous though. No, you haven't told me too much about no, that's what's right. going on on this coffee run. Yeah, that's alright. We're just going to get coffee, have a chat while we're going. It's no. all good. Hey mate, um, what do you reckon makes, from a coaching perspective, what actually makes a good umpire do you think? Firstly, someone they know the rules, so similar to our coaches, knowing all the rules. Uh, need to be confident in their ability, not overconfident, but you know, have the confidence in you know, how they blow the whistle, uh, explaining what decision they've made, the reasons why. Uh, be approachable, so have a relationship you know, with you know, the right people from the footy club, so whether it's the captain or the coach, but also with the players. So they can break down those barriers uh, between the, the coach, player, umpire relationships. So you think maybe be a bit more human? You reckon sometimes the uh, umpires might be a little bit more robotic and they need to actually be a bit more... Yeah, just be, just, themselves. just don't, be yeah, themselves. Don't try and be someone that they don't need to be. I know they've got the whistle and all that, but mm, they don't enough. need to... What's the right word? Probably be overpowering with their with the whistle just yeah, understand okay. from where the players are coming from yep but also the players need to understand the umpire as well yeah right so when you do your coaching courses at the start of the year you actually tell the coaches you say hey don't abuse the umpires or what's your way around you know you can't just tell them straight out hey go and do it but is there a way to getting that message across to them yeah we do uh, all our coaching courses we do an um, umpire component and a lot of that is, you know, respect for umpires. Yes, umpires are going to make mistakes, but and, uh, the game's been going for over 120 years, and I'm pretty sure not one of them has changed their decision yet. So focus on that instead of that, and make it a point for the coaches to focus on what's actually happening with their own teams, not so much how the umpires are umpiring. Um, but you know, focus on what they can control. The umpires in control. They'll make decisions. They might make some mistakes, but yeah. if they don't get a chance to come to the interchange and have a break if they've made a couple of mistakes. Say like a player. So, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, high on that with you know coaches and how they treat you know, umpires and yeah, abusing okay. umpires is not on. So in all seriousness, mate, we are lost because I'm. I think we've got to go up this way. Um, you think I know where the coffee coffee run is supposed to go to? Yeah, you but, go there uh, every day. Yeah. No, nah, on a serious note, mate, do you reckon coaches think umpires have got X-ray vision? Like, you know, they'd be sitting on the bench looking through. How did you not see that umpire? You know, like yeah, yeah, uh, yes, different some, angles. Yes, uh, maybe. Some coaches, yeah, obviously get the blinkers on a little bit yeah, and yeah. expect that the umpires are Superman and have got their OPSM. Uh, well, they are sponsored by on. OPSM, and you'd think OPSM would at least come up with X-ray vision glasses. Yeah, well, that's right. You but, know, so it, it makes sense to, to have that. Um, the last, I suppose, what I wanted to sort of hit you about was: um, Would you ever envisage an umpire sitting on the pine? in the box with the coach and the players and just abusing players from dropping a footy, missing tackles and things like that. How do you reckon that would go down? Yeah, that would go down real well. Real well. <laughs> uh, it would be inter- it'd actually be an interesting exercise to see how the uh, coach actually cope with that because um, yeah, at the moment I think some coaches think that the umpires are free hit and can let their frustration out on them, so to speak, and yeah. yell all sorts of things um, to them. But we, I guess the reason why I say that, if we've had people, um, you know, come and ask, oh, the free kick count was this and blah, 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 I'd like to actually rock up to a coach and say, well, here are the stats in your team today, uh, coach. Yeah, here's you, your tongue account. You, yeah, 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 exactly yeah. right. You know, you, it's just, um, so anyway, it shouldn't be a free-for-all, I guess, is what you're saying. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, and that's a, the point of all our, with our coaching courses, um, umpires are going to make mistakes. That's, yeah, that's AFL footy, but so yeah. are the players, so are yeah. the coaches. Right. So, 
Cool. Um, well, we found the coffee shop, mate. Eventually found it. He didn't drop me off into the Brisbane River, so no. that's a bonus. No, not with a head like that. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Rowan. Cheers.